This is KEXP. It's 90.3 FM worldwide. We're on the web at KEXP.org. My name is Chili. Down in the performance room, I am very, 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 very excited to have a band all the way from Uruguay performing live on El Sonido today, Molina y Los Cosmicos. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Thank you for having us. Of course. You're very welcome. Take it away. Let's hear some music. Uh, this first song is uh, En el Camino del Sol. Okay. Molina y los Cosmicos, live on KEXP. Want to do another song? Yes. Let's get right into it. Pequeñas cosas que jamás te contaré.
Yeah, live music here on KEXP from Uruguay. Molina y los Cosmicos, welcome to KEXP. Thanks. I'm so glad to have you here. Thanks. <laughs> and I see you've recruited a, a local drummer as part of your Cosmicos, Connor from yes. the Cumbieros. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. It's been a joy. Right on. Been a real joy. This is your first time to Seattle. Yes, the first time in Seattle. Um, we love this city. Yeah. Cool. We are very happy to be here. Oh, uh, I'm very glad to have you here. It's been a, a long ways to, to come. Yeah. And we've been playing your music on El Sonido for a while. And it's, it's such a treat to have you all the way up here. It's cool. Thank yes. you so much. You. You're welcome. I'd like to hear a little bit of history of you, Nico, and the whole group. How did you get into music and how did you get this band together? Uh, uh, when I was a child, um, I listened to music all the time at 16. I started uh, working and I got my first guitar. Um, uh, from that moment, I haven't been and play music. Um, it's okay, play music <laughs> all the time. I'm here now. <laughs> and one important thing to know is that uh, we know each other since we were a child. Okay. Because we came from a very small town in Uruguay. Mm -hmm. uh, only 6,000 people live there. Wow. So we know each other since a ah, uh, okay. long, long time, since child. And then how long has um, Los Cosmicos been playing as that group? Well, uh, in, in we have been playing like the four of us together since uh, 2012, okay. actually. Oh, that was our Shula first... July 2012. Yeah. That was our first show ever. Yes. In Castillos, in Castillos, it's a little town in, in Uruguay, South America. It's in uh, front of the ocean, Atlantic Ocean. And near Brazil, we love Brazil. <laughs> and the band uh, is uh, Martin Mendes on electric guitar, Sebastiana Ruti on bass, uh, Emma Ralph on keyboards and uh, vocals. And today, uh, Connor. <laughs> Connor Apperson. Replacing uh, Nacho Itancourt. Cool. Uh, tell me about the first record. You just played a couple songs off of it. Yes, well, it's uh, like a, a song for me. We recorded in a home studio uh, in Aguas Dulces and Castillos. And we don't have money to, to record in. It's an uh, indie recording uh, uh, with uh, analog tapes, uh, computers, uh, microphones, and I feel proud of it. You should be. It sounds really song. good. And um, have people in Uruguay, um, do they support the band? Do you get to do lots yes. of shows? Yes, yes. Yeah, we've been play we have played with several bands from, from Uruguay. In Brazil, actually, we went to Brazil. Yeah, you we played a, a festival, right? We yes. played in a festival. We have played in different different places. For example, uh, El Mapa de Todos in Porto Alegre, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a good festival. There uh, we get a chance to, to play with a great band in Uruguay that's called Buenos Muchachos. Mm -hmm. and, and Bomba Stereo. Yeah. From uh, we play in um, uh, Festival de Música de Rua, in uh, Paraíso del Norte, Fest Bi Contra Pedal in Uruguay. Cool. And this is your first trip to the United States. Yes, yes. You started in New York City? Yes. Uh, in a rock good music hall. Mm -hmm. um, we also play in a in a Uruguayan uh, bar, an Uruguayan club. bar, tabaret bar, tabaret bar, tabaret restaurant, restaurant, yes, yeah. um, located so far in Bronx and KSP. Mm -hmm. uh, how how did you come to the United States? Are you are you <coughs> just here to to share some some music and to vacation, or um, yes. you didn't come all the way just for me? Well, it, it was our excuse. Yeah. I mean, we said, okay, we have to go to Seattle, but then we visited other cities, and well, they got they got to play in in New York as well. Um, but it was actually funny how we got here. Um, there's a funny story um, about this um, director, film director. Mm. Um, it's called uh, Sean Telford. Sean Telford. Telford. Hmm. Sean yeah. Telford. 
hotel for it and she, he was actually uh, listening to this radio actually on his car uh -huh. and he heard one of the one of the songs of the album and he said wow I, I have to have this song in one of my short films so he stayed in his car outside his house listening and waiting for probably you to say the name of the band so he contacted Nicolas and he asked him if he could use uh, one of the songs that's called Gashos de Kentucky that we're going to play last. Mm -hmm. And now that song is one, it's in one of his short films. That's amazing. Yeah, and, but the story doesn't end there. Now, like, to return the favor, we are staying at, t um, at his house. Uh -huh. So he, he has been... I mean, it's, it was great. I mean, so to use the song for the soundtrack, he's he's hosting you yeah, here in Seattle. Yeah, That's that is amazing. so amazing. Yeah. I actually saw the movie. Um, I, I saw it before it was released. You sent me a preview, and it's a cool. It's a cool short. It's called El Camino, El Camino Solo. Solo. That's right. And uh, it showed at SIF, the Seattle International Film Festival. Yes, yes. And I love short films, and I go to the festival, and and it came on. It's I was like, oh my god, I forgot about this movie. It's, <laughs> it's in SIF. This is cool. And it starts with a song. Um, that was great. It's amazing. That's a that's a really unique connection. I like that I had a small part in in bringing those worlds together. Yes. That's really cool. Super yeah, cool. Super he's he's been yeah. awesome with us. We really appreciate what everything that he has done for us now. Nice. I, I'd like to learn a little bit more about Uruguay. Um, tell me a bit about the music scene and what kind of music you can hear there. Well, there are like uh, many kinds of music there. Uh, many great artists that have been playing internationally um, for example No Te Va a Gustar it's very famous um, what else? Cuarteto de Nos, Cuarteto de Nos. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Alberto Wolf y Los Terapeutas in Uruguay really uh, there are uh, many cool bands uh, very Diego, professional Diego Revela Diego Drexler mm -hmm. Garo mm -hmm. yeah. Friends and there's God, who's hip hop um, uh, Santi Mustafa? Yes, uh, he uh, he's a hip hop. Mm -hmm. Yes, we we know. And it, it seems mm -hmm. It's good. It seems like the the country of Ur uh, Uruguay really supports its arts too, and 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 tries to do its best to share. Yeah. Um, which I think is great. Uh, yeah, a lot of international bands have also played in Uruguay, which is great. Like, yes. how did you end up in this small country, big band here? Yeah. So, it's great, yeah. For such a small place, it seems to be um, a really exciting, innovative place full of a lot of art. Yes. And speaking of which, you're working on a new record, is that correct? Yeah. Yes, we are finished uh, El Folk de la Frontera, mm -hmm. uh, the second album of Molina y los Cosmicos. We are really happy because Craig Schumacher will be mixing the album. Awesome. Uh, he is an engineer of uh, Calexico, Iron and Wine, uh, fav uh, my favorite band. <laughs> nice. How, do, how did you connect with him? Uh, send, I sent uh, an email. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, it's okay also. He connects uh, with everyone. I don't know. He's, he's he, he, li <laughs> he likes the music and, and he supports uh, the Molinos Cosmicos. Very cool. Once again, we're speaking with Molina y los Cosmicos, live here on KEXP, all the way from Uruguay, their first trip to Seattle. And speaking of the new record, you've got a new track to play next, correct? Yes, uh, this track is from the new album. Uh, ITC, En el día que el mundo se iba a acabar. Yo te conocí en el día que el mundo se iba a acabar. Y va para ti, que sé que te gusta. <laughs> Quizás por tu voz, quizás tu sonrisa, quizás tu manera de hablar Donde trabajas, donde estudias y en donde mataste a esa animal Y no me digas que esto 
was welcome Boy, yeah, ah Tres zombies debemos matar La, la, la Qué suerte que sos, tú soy natural Qué suerte que vine a tocar Yo te conocí en el día que Que el mundo se iba a acabar Yo te conocí Yo te conocí en el día que el mundo se iba a acabar Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Live music at KEXP, Molina y los Cosmicos. I'm so glad you guys were here today. That sounded wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. For us. You're welcome. I will put some information on the KEXP playlist, um, links to your website, so people can learn more about the band and, and check thank out you. your music. 
And everyone listening, make sure and um, check the new record. It's on the way. When can we expect the new one? December. In December. Yeah. Okay, towards the end of the year. Yep. And um, you guys are welcome in Seattle anytime. And I thank would you. thank you, thank you. One of these days, I'll, I'll come. I'll come down and visit. I would love that. Sure. Yes. Sure. Please. You'll have a, <laughs> a house there. Well, thank you, Melina y los Cosmicos. Thank you so so much. Thank you to our, our video team, to Kevin Suggs for sound and and everyone listening. It's KEXP, Seattle. Discover new music at listener-powered KEXP.org.